The countdown is on. 60 days from today, Austin's first Formula One weekend begins. We thought we'd check on the progress out at the Circuit of the Americas track. The last bit of construction is going on now, and we have a new view of that track design, a video by the engineers themselves. Our Brian Sanders has more from the racetrack site in Southeast Travis County. According to the LCRA, this area of Travis County got a little less than an inch and a half of rain over the last few days, but it has not seemed to slow the construction progress out here. You can see the workings of the signature tower going up behind me and then over to the right, the slope of turn one, the third and final layer of paving has begun and with the track nearing completion, a new video has surfaced produced by KUT Public Radio showing details of the design through the eyes of the German engineers. Take a lap around Austin's F1 track with Tilke engineers, the architects behind Circuit of the Americas. We're at the starting line where on November 18th, 24 race cars will take their positions. KUT Radio posted this video last week. It's subtitled in German, but it takes you through the track turn by turn. Oliver Liedgens is one of the design masterminds. Um, the right. drivers are forced to work behind the wheel at all times. He says the real suspense could be down the back straightaway, where drivers will have an opportunity to pass at high speeds. At the end of the straight, we're expecting speeds of up to 320 kilometers per hour. That's 200 miles an hour. Then you really put on the brakes before entering an arena-type atmosphere. Tilke has taken some of the most dramatic elements from their other tracks and put them into the Circuit of the Americas. It's 3.4 miles long and the race is 56 laps. I've never built a football stadium, so I wouldn't know how to do that. Our job is to tell people, Formula One, this is how that works. Also this week, Austin Energy is asking City Council for permission to issue Circuit of the Americas an incentive for producing solar energy out here. The incentive would cover over half the cost, but the amount of energy it would produce would be enough to power 31 average Austin homes for an entire year. At the Circuit of the Americas, Brian Sanders, KXAN News.